is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be discussing some wwe action figures that we should be seeing at new york toy fair 2020 if i'm talking a little bit weird if i'm not as animated as i usually am it's because i'm still recovering from my wisdom teeth removal and it's kind of difficult to open my mouth all the way so i'm gonna do my best for you guys and if i'm like kind of slurring and like my freaking saliva is in my face and i'm just being an idiot well then that is, then you understand why but anyways guys new york toy fair is coming up it is on february 22nd 2020 and that is coming up in a couple weeks i do believe not next weekend but the weekend after that it will take place on saturday all the way through tuesday should be an epic event. We expect to see great things from Mattel, WWE, and AEW. We do know that AEW is coming, and we know they're getting an official toy line that we've discussed this past week. So if you guys missed out on that, definitely go check that out. But getting into it, guys, let's go ahead and start discussing the WWE figures that we should see at New York Toy Fair 2020. So let's go ahead and start off with the main Elite line. We do know that we're going to be seeing Elite Series 76. I fully expect it. You guys know that Elite Series 75 has already been released. And the next wave, obviously, would be 76 and then after that we have Elite Series 77. So Elite Series 76 does feature John Cena, Braun Strowman, Tucker and Otis, Lacey Evans, and Christian as the Chase variant. Obviously that is a part of the brood. He's got the white shirt and everything and then we're guessing that the Chase variant will probably be in a black shirt. So for John Cena I think it's supposed to be his WrestleMania 35 attire that we talked about with from uh, WrestleFig News on Twitter. Shout out to them. I think they did uh, talk about how this is supposed to be his WrestleMania 35 attire as well as Braun Strowman. So both of these guys are supposed to be in the WrestleMania 35's attire. Now I am worried about how they're going to do John John Cena's attire, apparently, you know, that he did wear the Yankees jersey, had the Babe Ruth jersey on, and we don't know how the hell they're supposed to make that. They obviously can't do that due to copyright issues and New York Yankee logo, so I don't know if they'll put WWE on the front, if they'll put Cena on the front. Who knows what they'll do? I guess we'll just have to see if we actually get that figure, if that's the attire they go with. But he did have the, you know, the navy blue Super Showdown armbands on there. And then Braun Strowman is obviously when he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. He will come with a trophy, and I'm guessing he will be shirtless as he was in these photographs. And I think that Braun Strowman will be shirtless. We already know what Tucker and Otis look like. Heavy Machinery, they both look terrific. I think they look just like them. So I am expecting that we should see these figures in the flesh. Now, if we don't see John Cena and Braun Strowman completely finished, I would understand that. Maybe we'll get a prototype of them. Like, um, I don't expect to see images. I expect to see, you know, full prototypes of all of Elite Series 76. So Elite Series 76... Uh, heavy Machinery, Lacey Evans, and Christian I think will be fully there. And I expect to see Strowman just because I don't think it's that difficult to make him. But Cena, maybe he won't be completely finished. But I could see him in a prototype form, you know, in the, the all red or maybe like an accessory over the top of him. If they do a cloth jersey or something like that. So not only do I think we will see Elite Series 76, guys, but Elite Series 77, the SummerSlam wave for this year. You guys know last year we did get Elite Series 68. This is going to be the Elite Series 68 for this year. It'll be Elite Series 78. 77 featuring the SummerSlam wave. Now in this wave we do have AJ Styles. Now I expect to see full, uh, just like 76, I probably expect them to be prototypes. If not, uh, I don't think they'll be completely finished. We do know what Ronda Rousey looks like, Viscera looks like. We already saw a prototype of Viscera at the last little con thing that we showed. We've seen images of Rick Rude. We have not seen images of Elizabeth, but we have also seen images of Freddie Blassie, and we even saw a prototype of him. So I've, I would expect that Freddie Blassie should be completed. He is the collector's edition for Elite Series 77. This is a figure of AJ Styles from SummerSlam 2019, and I don't know if it, if we're going to get SummerSlam 2019 or SummerSlam 2018. Now, I would say 16, but we've already gotten a figure of that in the USA gear, and then 20, uh, or 17 was the USA gear. 2016 would be where he took on John Cena, and we've seen so many blue and black figures, I highly doubt they would do that. So I would guess this would be AJ Styles 2018 in the purple gear where he took on Samoa Joe with the WWE Championship, or it would be SummerSlam 2019, which was when he took on Ricochet with the U.S. Championship, and this is a figure by Curb Stomp City Custom Decals. Huge shout out to him, but it does suck that both of these figures, I don't know why I'm having like a Mandela effect. I could have swore that AJ Styles was in a red, a red attire, a red gear for SummerSlam 2019. I guess not. I guess he was in black. So it looks like we're going to be getting a black attire again for 
for our Elite Series 77. Because it's SummerSlam, because we're limited to certain attires, AJ Styles has never worn anything but a black attire for SummerSlam. So it looks like we're getting another black gear AJ Styles for Elite Series 77, which is unfortunate. But if I had to, if I had to pick, I would personally pick the 2018 gear in the purple, just because I want something different. You know, we've had black and red before. We haven't had red and black, but we have had black and red before so I would like to see a change of pace with the purple versus Samoa Joe for the Elite 77 AJ Styles and I fully expect to see this figure on display at least as a prototype. Now moving on with the rest of Elite Series 77 guys we do have the Fiend. I expect to see a fully functional prototype of the Fiend. Now I don't know if he'll be colored. I'll, I'll be shocked if he's probably colored but um, maybe he'll be like all red or you guys know like a couple like sometimes they show us figures and they'll like in different colors they'll be like light blue or pink or red I expect to see the Fiend in like a full red color like and it'll show pretty much all the details but he won't be uh, you know painted correctly like it won't have all the paint detail on it but he will be uh, you know a fully functional figure like he'll be on display he'll probably come with like whatever accessories he gets if we get any I think they were trying to work in his leather entrance jacket I highly doubt we'll get his lantern accessory but I do expect maybe to get his entrance jacket so if we get the entrance jacket I'm sure that'll be on display with him or at least off to the side but I do expect the fiend to be at least a prototype I think we will see the fiend at New York Toy Fair and I'm very excited to see that the other figure that we have in this wave is Ronda Rousey. Now, this figure should be relatively easy to make. I expect to see her fully on display. Now, uh, I don't know if if any figures were going to be fully, you know, completed. I would expect Viscera to be fully completed because we already saw the prototype. Ronda Rousey, AJ Styles, Rick Rude. I could see this full wave being pretty much ready to go except for The Fiend just because of all the different stuff. I don't know if they're going to show him all fully. They, they probably will. They probably will show the full figure, but I expect The Fiend to probably be in a prototype state. But Ronda Rousey he is also a part of this wave. Viscera, Rick Rude, and Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth is, uh, this is a custom I found. I know it's uh, blurry, but this figure is is off of the internet, off of collectors.com. It wouldn't let me pull up the full image, but I suspect this is what the figure will pretty much be identical to. I bet the figure will look just like this. Whoever made this custom did a fantastic job. It looks just like the figure I think we will get for Elizabeth for Elite Series 77 from the SummerSlam wave. So, um, AJ Styles, The Fiend, Ronda Rousey, Viscera, Rick Rude, Elizabeth, and Freddie Blassie, all a part of Elite Series 77. Uh, again, I think that we will see Elite Series 76 and 77 both in full at New York Toy Fair come that Saturday. And now we're going to get into some other figures that I think we will see, guys. Uh, one of the figures that I think we will see is the Elite China. We did see the prototype at the last con, I think, so or whatever that show was. It's like the wrestling shop little con thing they did in the UK. We did see China there. So I think we will see a fully painted version of China at New York Toy Fair. Um, I'm, I'm not sure like exactly how much they're supposed to show. I don't know how much much they're going to show us but I would expect to see China in the full painted true effects and all applied I can't wait to see what this China figure looks like not only are we going to see China but I think we will also see Greg the Hammer Valentine as well as Sting now we saw all three of these at San Diego Comic-Con almost a full year ago so I think all three of these will be on display and I think that we will probably have all full painted versions of all three of them so I'm pretty excited to see China pretty excited to see Greg and pretty excited to see, see Sting I think all three of these figures will be great and I expect to see all three of them on display at New York Toy Fair and uh, I, I can't wait to just see what the true effects look like on them and all the painted details and stuff like that. Now for ringside exclusives guys we do have a ringside exclusive figure that I think we will see at New York Toy Fair 2020. It is ringside exclusive Sasha Banks with her blue hair. Now this one isn't the most exciting figure to be honest with you. I would have expected something different but we do know uh, I think it was announced at Comic Con and then announced later on and then it announced again at Ringside Fest. Um, I can't remember exactly what the things were, but I know that ringside, the ringside exclusive that we're going to be seeing is Sasha Banks, and I probably, I'm expecting to see this figure fully done. I think it'll be fully done with her, you know, custom, or her rubber jacket that's like, you know, just like Kyrie Sane from Elite Series 73. It's got like the pre-positioned jacket so that way you can pose her already you don't have to move her around and all that stuff you ain't got to worry about that you know they tool it correctly so it's easier to take off which is a very nice thing but I don't really care for the rubber accessories but I do think we will see this figure in full 
uh, true effects and all that. It'll probably be the best Sasha Banks that we've ever seen, so that's going to be very nice to see. Um, even though I probably would like a different ringside exclusive, uh, this is still a cool figure. I think it'll be a really, really nice Sasha Banks figure to add to the collection to replace our, uh, you know, our, our WrestleMania 35 Sasha Banks on the shelf there. So that'll be a really nice figure to see as well. And then we do have some prototypes that I think we could see. If we don't see prototypes, maybe we'll see some images. Maybe not. We could just see straight up prototypes. But uh, I'm expecting to see three figures from Elite Series 78, possibly even more. But uh, R-Truth from Elite Se Series 78, Seth Rollins from Elite 78, and Matt Riddle from Elite 78. And we did know that there was a rumor going around for Elite Series 78 that we could get a flashback Randy Orton from uh, obviously the Legend Killer phase or whatever where he was the world champion. I think the rumor was we were supposed to be getting SummerSlam 2004. So, I mean, if that were to happen in the freaking like peachish orange tights, I would probably lose my freaking mind. So if that happens, that would be excellent. But I would love to see a True Effects young version of Randy Orton from Elite Series 78, if that's in fact what we end up getting. So Elite 78, R-Truth, Seth Rollins, Matt Riddle, and Randy Orton could also be some prototypes that we do see at New York Toy Fair. I can't wait to see these. Um, I'm trying to remember what series we were on. Uh, I think it was the last Toy Fair or the Toy Fair before that. Uh, remember when we saw like the Jeff Hardy, we saw the Velveteen Dream, we saw Shayna Baszler, we saw Cedric Alexander. I remember seeing those prototypes, you know, when they were like fully red and we didn't see all the details just yet, but they look so badass. Hopefully, uh, we get the same thing with, uh, Elite 78. Uh, I think Elite 76 and 77 will be fully, you know, done and everything, but for Elite 78, I think it would be cool to see at least some prototype uh, type builds or just something to say, you know, this is what they look like or this is what's coming. Uh, even if it's just images or renders, I would like to see that for Elite Series 78. And then we're moving on to the last two figures that I think we will see, and we could see even more than this. This is just the bare minimum. Uh, Elite Series 76, 77, some of Elite Series 78, maybe even the full wave. China, Greg the Hammer, Valentine, Sting, Sasha Banks from ringside, and then we have two Ultimate Editions, which is Ultimate Edition Series 5, right? Is it Series 5 or 4? I think it's 5. We have Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch and Ultimate Edition Ric Flair with the Four Horsemen hands, the Becky Two Belts. She'll have the interchangeable. I think she'll have a cloth jacket, possibly. I do think we will see these two Ultimate Editions as well. So uh, we saw those way back at Comic-Con, so I think they've probably done a lot more work to these figures that we have not seen. So Ultimate Edition Becky, Ultimate Edition Ric Flair should be really good. I'm excited to see. I bet. I hope we get a Woo head scan for our Ric Flair figure. Uh, I hope the interchangeable head sculpts for Becky are great as well. I hope they're terrific. And uh, maybe we'll even get like a bloody face like from where she, you know, had her moment and became the man or whatever that was on SmackDown. I think that'd be really excellent. Even though it wouldn't obviously be uh, tied in perfectly as far as accuracy. I think it'd be really cool to add in that bloody head sculpt. I don't think we'll get it, but you know, it's a nice idea to add to the Ultimate Edition. But there's Ultimate Becky, Ultimate Ric Flair, and I think that is all the figures that I expect to see at New York Toy Fair 2020. Just a quick recap real, real quick. We have Elite Series 76, Cena, Strowman, Tucker, and Otis, Heavy Machinery. Lacey Evans, Christian is the Chase variant. We have Elite Series 77, which is the SummerSlam Wave featuring AJ Styles, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, Ronda Rousey, Viscera, Rick Rude, who who is the chase in that set? If you guys didn't know, we have Rick Rude. We have Elizabeth and then Freddie Blassi, who is the collector's edition. I don't think we know who the collector's edition for Elite 76 just is yet, uh, so maybe we'll find that out, or I could just be misplacing it. We have Elite China, Greg the Hammer, Valentine Sting, and ringside exclusive Sasha Banks. And then we have Elite Series 78, R-Truth, Seth Rollins, Matt Riddle, Randy Orton, possibly. And then the two Ultimate Edition Series 5, Becky Lynch and Ric Flair. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Again, I apologize if my words are slurry or if my mouth is all messed up and I'm trying to spit all these words out and stuff. This is the most talking I've done over the past three days, so uh, I hope you guys bear with me and everything like that, but thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys did enjoy, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE extra figure videos, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video, thank you.